Okay, I'd like to thank the Milwaukee Jewish Day School for bringing in Growing Minds. And who are you and what is Growing Minds? Our program, Growing Minds, teaches a powerful technique called mindfulness to students and teachers in the classroom. Its goal is to transform the classroom so that children are able to self-regulate and develop self-awareness skills, a very powerful tool that can amplify their educational experience. Thank you. And I have noticed my child coming home from school practicing breathing or poses. What are some of these strategies you're using and how can we reinforce them at home? We have core practices. The first one is mindful listening, listening to any sounds inside, outside, and even in our own bodies. From there, we begin to use a chime where they listen to the chime from the very first sound until they can't hear it anymore. And then we can extend that kind of focusing by developing an anchor spot where a child will feel their breath. The next probably most popular or used practice is sending kind thoughts to themselves and to other people. That practice allows a child or a teacher to shift the way they're looking at someone, including themselves. After that, I think mindfulness of generosity and mindful of being grateful or gratitude are the next most popular lessons that become reinforced on a regular basis by teachers. Um, I love the Milwaukee Jewish Day School and I want to thank everyone who helped allow and make possible for Growing Minds to come into the school in the grades 1, 2, and 3. Our curriculum consists of 16 lessons over 8 weeks and we're in week 7 right now. We've noticed significant changes in students' ability to line up quietly not fighting in place for line. We've noticed kids offering smiles and teachers offering smiles more generously. We've even noticed that uh, teachers in some of the supporting programs like art have said that the children are more mindful and that their behavior has actually changed. Since we've been here, we've noticed that the teachers have all been using our mindfulness vocabulary, and so they have this common language amongst themselves. And it's apparent that they're using it when they ask kids to get in line mindfully. We've even had stories that teachers are using this before they come to school to set intentions as to how they want to approach their school day. We've had support staff like music teachers notice that students are much more mindful of each other. Teachers have even commented that they've noticed more acts of generosity since our lesson on mindfulness of generosity. I think going forward that there's going to be a stronger school community because teachers and students have had this common experience and they can trust each other at a whole new level.